All right, everyone, welcome back. We are doing 2K19, my career. And uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, Chris Alexander basically got screwed at Survivor Series 2017. I think it was. So, basically, he quit WWE. Hey, big BCW show this Friday night. At the and it went to the friends. Indies. Don't need a flyer. I go to every show. Wait, is that you? Uh, what do you mean? Facing Mr. CQ in the main event. It's definitely you. Uh, <laughs> I guess I can see the resemblance, but that guy's a huge indie star. Why would he be out here flyering for a show? Hey, is this weirdo bothering you? He's one of the wrestlers. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Have fun at the show. Yo, I thought wrestlers had money. Why would he be driving around some crappy bug van? See? See? Good point. More proof that I am not who you think I am. Sure. You gotta check out this guy's highlights online. He's going to be a huge star in WWE someday. <laughs> Thanks. That's nice of you to say. I mean about the wrestler on the poster who is, um, definitely not me. Come on. Let's go. Hope you beat Mr. CQ. I can't stand that guy. Well, maybe I'll see you in the crowd Friday night. I mean, he's a fan, as a fan. Uh, definitely not from the ring, because I'm not a wrestler. <laughs> All right. Well. A few days later. And by the way, I spent all my VC on loot, like, loot pack stuff, you know, like, um, I spent all my VC on loot to, like, buy loot pack tokens, so I bought a bunch of loot packs, so I have, like, a bunch of, like, a, like, a new, like, a bunch of different moves and, you know, all that good stuff. And I spent like maybe two or three hundred thousand VC to do that. So, yeah, anyway. Aaron Blade and Matt Bloom, or can I talk to Cole Quinn at all? I don't think I can. And yeah, they, they kind of did this thing here too, where... Uh, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a keep everything where it's at. But, um, anyways, guys. Yeah, they kind of brought this back with the whole, you know, kind of like phone thing. Kind of like it was back in Road to WrestleMania, which I think is kind of cool. Anyway, let's go talk to Baron and Matt. Hey, I want you to meet Matt Bloom from NXT. Matt, this is my protege, Van Gogh. I'm a big fan, Mr. Bloom. I mean, I've studied all your matches from your run in WWE and Japan. Really great stuff. Thanks. You must be a true student of the game. I try to be. So why do they call you Van Gogh? Are you some kind of artist? Not quite. I gave him that name because everywhere he goes, his dad's old work van goes. He practically lives in that thing. Yeah, practically. So what brings you out to our show? I'm here to scout your opponent, Cole Quinn. Oh. Cole's, Cole, great. Cole's good. You won't be disappointed. I'll have my eye on you as well. Wait, really? You're rustling Cole, so it'd be kind of hard not to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good point. Well, I should go get ready. 
It was nice meeting you, Mr. Bloom, and thanks for coming out to the show. All right, Mr. Bloom. Nice meeting you, you know. Hello, Mr. Man, you Cole. Can take that, 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 that slow your roll, Greeny. Tonight's my big chance to get signed to NXT, so don't do anything to screw it up. <laughs> okay, look, I'm gonna give it everything I have tonight, and we'll see where we stand after that. All I know is I'll be standing in Orlando at the Performance Center. You can continue standing in high school gyms. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see about that one, Mr. Mr. Cole. Yeah, we're just gonna get to the match. And basically, if you don't know why I... If you don't know why I'm just like... Kind of ending 2K18's my career off a cliffhanger. Like I'm doing. It's because the Royal Rumble, man. It got too hard. And I had to keep grinding for VC... Just to be able to get kind of better at doing it. But I still never really completed it. So I said, you know what? Screw it. We're going to start from... We're going to go to 2K19's my career. And that's what we're doing right now. Anyway, here comes your boy. The quote, the man who calls himself the, the Messiah, Chris Alexander. He's coming out, don't worry. He's just kind of taking a minute. There he is. The Messiah. Chris Alexander. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here comes Mr. CQ. Wait a minute. Oh, I forgot I did this. I made him come out with the Wyatt Family theme song for a universe mode that I was doing. With Cole Quinn. God damn it. <laughs> He's coming out with the Wyatt Family theme song. I forgot whatever you do in my whatever you do to a my career character. Or any character that's involved in the my career in this game will like it'll like carry over to the my career. So Cole Quinn's coming out in the Wyatt family theme song. God damn it.
I need to change that actually. I need to like fix his entrance after the stream. But anyway, here's Chris Alexander and Cole Quinn on a roundhouse kick by Alexander right off the right off the bat there. And I need a Cole Quinn and God. I don't know what that was, but it was something. Wait a minute. Oh. He's just a salty Gold Quinn now. Wait a minute. Oh, God. He's going to grab his arm and snap his fingers. The Messiah of BCW. God. OCS 732, you're blocking the school nurse's car. If you'd like to go home now. And a sunset flip into a power bomb. Oh no, he's got Cole Quinn's arm and a stomp to the These arm. These two are going to bring the house down tonight, which is something they've literally done before oh, it is. when they once had a forearm rakes with, a, with a forearm to the face. Oh. Throwing these kicks to the face. These two have a long and a brain buster. If you want to check out any of their other matches, there's DVDs for sale at our merch table. All proceeds go to charity. Just kidding. They go to me. It's expensive to run these indie shows. And wait a minute. And... Oh... And they're running drop kicks. When, oh, he's, he's kicked the face again of Cole Quinn. And an elbow. Another elbow. And a code breaker by Chris Alexander. This is what BCW is all about. And another brain buster. Driving Cole Quinn on his head. Play -play Until then, you're stuck with me, Baron Blade. The stomping Cole Quinn. Wait, what is my? Hold on. Oh, okay. You know, taking Cole WCW Quinn down and no punching him in the face. No pyro. No one run in their mouth for way too long. Well, except for me. Other than that, it's all action all the time. And these guys are he wants Cole best. Quinn to his feet. Oh, the tornado ends a carry. I think I heard a bone break. Somebody call the school nurse. Who wants Cole Quinn up? Wait a minute. And the butterfly face bust. The sit out butterfly face buster. One. Two. And Cole Quinn with a kick out. If these two keep it up, they're going straight to the principal's office. Mm. And watch Cole Quinn and the spiking DDT. I think that's against the school's code of conduct. And he wants Cole Quinn. Always oh, got him on a hammerlock and a suplex.
Nice move by Chris Alexander there. Wait a minute. And that, oh, no. another DDT. Enjoy him while you can, ladies and gentlemen. He's got Cole Quinn. Oh no, I'm driving him on his head again. This is the most exciting thing to take place at this gym oh. since last week's pep rally. Cole Quinn has busted open his head's gotta be injured. Oh, he stomps to the chest of Cole Quinn. Tonight's attendance is... Oh, never mind. Just enjoy the match, everyone. Oh, he's got a top rope. And a tornado DDT into the rope. A tornado DDT into the There's rope. So much at stake or in into match. the top Let's rope. Just say you never know who's watching and BCW show. Oh. Oh. Kicks to the leg. Cole Quinn. These two have the potential to go. He's got Cole Quinn in it. The air raid crash. We have a strict 11 p.m. curfew. On a bicycle knee strike to Cole Quinn. He's got Cole Quinn on it. A springboard roundhouse kick. Oh, wait a minute. And a curb stomp. Get Cole Quinn. One. Two. And three. And Chris Alexander has beaten Cole Quinn. Mr. CQ is Mr. No Q. Is And there's the air raid crash. And then there's the curb stomp. Good match, Van Gogh. Yeah, great Thanks. job out there. It means a lot coming from Orlando, you. Orlando, here I come. I'm gonna get a condo on the beach. There's no beach in Orlando. Well, then I'll make sure to furnish my condo with wall-to-wall -wall sand. Before you start making big plans, we have a few things to discuss. Like what? My start date? Future opponents? Waist measurements for the NXT title? Not exactly. To be honest, I'm not a fan of your Mr. CQ character. You need to come up with something different. It's not really a character, but fine. I can come up with something different after I get to NXT. Full disclosure, I don't think you'll be heading to NXT. Not anytime soon, at least. You're just not ready. I was actually more impressed with your opponent over here. Wait, what? So I've decided to offer him an opportunity instead. You'll have a tryout match on an up-and-coming WWE event. Really? Yes. I've been doing this a while now, and I know talent. Is this when some I kind of it. joke? 
because you were supposed to be here to scout me and not him. Plans change all the time in this business. That's a good lesson for you to learn. I have to go catch my flight. You and Baron will be hearing from us soon with the details on your tryout match. Don't make me regret my decision. I won't. Thank you. Unbelievable. I told you not to ruin this for me, and look what happened. Whoa, all I did was give it everything I had out there, okay? I can't help it that he saw more potential in me. Potential? Or was it your boy Baron here putting you over with him? I always knew that he was your favorite, but I didn't think it would cost me a shot at WWE. This was all Matt Bloom's decision. Do you think I want to see my top guys leave? <laughs> and do you think we want to stay here forever, wrestling in front of a few hundred people for crap money? That's not what I meant. I'm just saying we're building something good here. Besides, if you left, who would design our title belts? I only make your belts because you pay us so little for wrestling. It's so bad teacher's pet over here has to live in his van. I thought that was a joke. I only live in it when times are tough, which is most of the time. Well, that nickname's not as much fun anymore. Look, you just this need to trust man. the process. We're building a brand. And think of it this and way. This if man. you just make it to WWE, it'll be good for everyone. It'll help put BCW on the map and lead to more opportunities. Oh, yeah. Easy for you to say. You're the one with a WWE tryout match. He's right, though. What's the saying? A rising boat will lift all tides? I think it's the other way around. Whatever. Come on, let's drop this thing and bring it in for a BCW handshake. Yeah, no thanks. I'll let you two celebrate alone. Don't worry about him. And congrats! I am truly happy for you! <laughs> thanks, Baron Blade. Thank you, my guy. next week and here this we are in raw is way bigger than the high school gym and the VFW and the state fair combined don't let that bother you all that matters is the rings the same size all right good point but i assume their rings aren't covered in rust and mysterious stains hey we're working on fixing that come on let's go meet triple h and uh try to play it cool you don't want to recite his entire career history like you did with matt bloom <laughs> <sighs> it wasn't his entire career history hey hunter it's been a while this is my guy that matt bloom wanted to bring in for the tryout match tonight nice to meet you you trained him, Baron? I did. He's one of my top students. I'll try not to hold that against him. Look, I've heard a lot of good things. All right. But I want to see you in action tonight before we decide anything. Do you have an opponent for him yet? I do. Surviving in WWE is all about how you handle adversity. So you're going to face the toughest guy we have. Actually, the toughest monster we have. Oh shit, Braun Strowman. Don't worry. He won't hurt you. Not until your match at least. Unfucking Strowman. Oh shit. He's actually using the fucking like raw set thing uh, to like lift hey, weights. Braun? I I just wanted to introduce myself. No autographs. <laughs> I'm I'm not a fan. I'm actually... You mean victim? So how do you want to die tonight? Uh, I'd like to survive tonight, if that's okay with you. What I meant was, in what type of match do you want to get these hands? Ooh. Oh. You know what, Strowman? Falls count anywhere. Falls count anywhere match. I've won a bunch of those on the indies, so I like my chances. 
I can't believe you thought I was actually going to let you choose the type of match tonight. We're going to do what I want to do, because I'm the monster among men. So it'll be a steel cage match. That way you can't run from me. Oh, <laughs> steel shit. Steel cage. Great idea. That was my second choice. A steel cage match with Braun Strowman. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Well, then. Baron Blade is a retired WWE superstar who left for unknown reasons due to, to become a show producer. Rumors suggest that WWE wouldn't let him execute his vision for ne new, never-before-seen match type. Okay. Well, then. If you guys don't remember, me and Baron Blade have actually fought in matches back in the year 2016. This is 2018 now. So... Yeah. Oh, yeah, 10 styles points. Okay, I need to upgrade my my player tree then. Momentum. I want to get this top rope diver is what I want to get. Okay, good. We got top rope diver now. That's one thing I like to get is top rope diver. What's this? Te technician level 3. Okay. That's a good one to get. It's another one. What's this one? Combo striker. That's not a bad one to get. Combo Striker's not a bad one to get. What is this one? Suicide Dive. That's a good one to get, too. I'm going to go ahead and try and get that one. But, hey, no promises, you know. Oh, wait, I have just enough points to get it. Okay, good. Suicide Dive. All right, cool. Where is it? It's right there. All right, so I'll have to go into my custom moves, my move set and... Go ahead and, you know, kind of. Anyway, Alexa Bliss. What's up? Hey. What's up, Alexa? I've seen some of your indie stuff online. Not bad. Oh, you've seen some of my indie matches. Thank you, Alexa Bliss. Uh... Thank you. Oh, Appreciate you, you saying that. <laughs> I don't have time to watch nobodies like you. Especially nobodies who are going to get destroyed by Braun Strowman. Ouch, Alexa. Ouch. Kind of hurts. Anyway, hey, Burn. You worked for WWE in the past. Any last minute advice for me? Just make the most me? of your opportunity, win or lose. Matt Bloom brought you in here because he saw something in you. Just go out there and show him that again. Oh, and try to get some free swag. I'd like a Bootio's lunchbox if you're taking requests. Oh, my God. I'm done. Kind of have bigger things on my mind than a Bootio's well, lunchbox. Like a replica title belt? Braun uh, Strowman? Course. Just trying to keep the mood light. But if you do see a lunchbox lying around. This man, Baron Blade, wants me to go look for fucking Bootio's lunchbox. I don't really have the time for that, Baron. I have to go and face Braun Strowman in a steel cage match. So that doesn't quite work. Now you're fighting for broken people. People. Yeah. Right, anyway. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, ah, I came to collect. Yeah, I got a list. What's your name at the top? The top. Oh, oh, tell me you're not. The following contest the is a the collect, steel so cage the trick. match. Making his way to the ring from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 224 pounds, Chris Alexander. Honestly, Leo Rush, Leo Rush himself said he didn't like his WWE theme song, apparently. I don't know how he does it. I don't know why. I don't know how you could not like a banger like this. I know you guys can't hear it because of copyright reasons. But, anyway... At least I don't have to deal with show intro, so I don't get copyrighted like my 2K17 my career. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here comes Braun Strowman. It's time for me to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God! Time for me to die. Oh, I'm scared of this. Oh hell no! And I'm dead. Shit! Ow! Ow! Oh, I kicked out. I kicked out of the power slam. Do you guys remember yes. Baron Blade? Apparently, he trained this guy. Yeah, I can tell. Spear to Braun. Spear. <gasps> Just reversed it. And now it's time for me to die. Ow. This guy. Oh, he looks like deer in the Sorry, Brian. No, no, no. That's the look of someone whose life is flashing before their eyes. One, two. <sighs> Almost didn't kick out there. I heard this is actually up, this Ron. guy's tryout match tonight. What's he trying out for? To be a crash test dummy? Come on, Ron. Super kick. Get up, Strowman. Get up. Oh, and that's far more fun to get. Do we even bother to learn this guy's name? <laughs> Stick to oh, his initials. D-O-A. This guy pull up in the parking lot today and he was driving a bug exterminator van. Well, that's a yeah. because he's about to get squashed by Braun Strowman. One, two, three. Oh, I didn't kick out that time, but I did put up a fight. I did put up a fight. You guys have to give me credit for that one. Dun, 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 dun.
Well, I got killed by Broad. <laughs> eh, we'll be fine, I think. You did a good job out there. Really? It feels like I got run over by a big bearded tank. Think it was enough for him to sign me? I don't know. But no matter what, you always have a home in the BCW. Thanks. Hey, I saw a lot of positive things from you tonight. Most importantly, you didn't seem intimidated by being on the bigger stage or by being locked in the cage with a monster. So with that being said, we'd like to offer you an NXT contract. Look that over and return it at tomorrow night's show. This is amazing. Thank you. I would shake your hand, but I think three of my fingers are dislocated. Don't worry about it. Rest up and we'll finalize everything tomorrow night. You did it. I'm shocked. Me too. I just can't believe it. I mean, against all odds. I know. I'll definitely be sad to see you go. You've become one of my top guys. You'll be fine though, right? I mean, you got Cole and the rest of the crew, yeah? Sorry, what, what am I doing? This is your time to celebrate, not to worry about me and BCW. You enjoy the moment. I'm gonna go talk to Triple H about when you might start, so maybe I can get you on one more BCW show. We'll do a big farewell match. It'll be great. Sounds good. I... I'll see you back at the hotel. Congrats. I'm... I'm proud of you. Thanks, Baron. Couldn't have done it without you. All right then, well. Alright, here we go. Why are you signing with WWE? Well, actually, I was literally just offered an NXT contract and I can't wait to get started. You should just skip NXT and go straight to the main roster. Actually, you know what? Hey, Triple H, you say listen to your audience? Well, the audience is saying that I'm good enough to go straight to the main roster, which actually, I think I proved it tonight by going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Braun Strowman in a steel cage and not backing down, but... Who the hell is this? Who the hell is attacking me? Alright, you know what? Whoever you are, bud. Whoever you are, I'm coming. I'm gonna get you. The tonight next by going day. toe to toe with Braun Strowman in a steel cage and not backing down, but less than 24 hours after we offer you the opportunity of a lifetime, you get into a fight with a fan outside a WWE event, and there's video. I'd really love to hear this explanation. Explanation. Let's see. Um, the fan Look, attacked the fan me first. Attacked me first. I was just defending myself. What am I supposed to do? Just stand there and get beat up? All we can see is you fighting with a member of the WWE universe, and that's not good. Well, that's how it happened. You need to understand, this isn't some rinky-dink independent promotion running shows at the Elks Lodge. This is a publicly traded global company. We can't have our WWE superstars getting into fights with fans, and it will not be tolerated. On top of that, you were bashing NXT, saying you were going straight to the main roster. Who in the hell do you think you are? I was just having fun with the fans. 
I was just about to say that I would be happy to go to NXT, and the fan attacked me. Oh, I bet. This is what I get for trying to do business with one of your guys, Baron. Come on, Hunter. Can't you just find him or something? No, because I can't find him if he's not on the active roster. I'm rescinding the contract offer. Leave the building or I will have security escort you out. Don't ever bring me one of his guys again. This is on you too. Understood. Remember what I said about making me regret my decision? Congratulations, you did it in record time. Hey, this wasn't your fault. I'm sure we'll figure out something else. Now, come on, grab your stuff. We gotta go. Yep, we gotta we gotta get out of here. We we gotta go. You know what I mean? Well, cool. Even though Baron left WWE, he has a working relationship with Triple H. He has a good reputation. He had a good reputation as a show producer, bringing up young talent and cultivating them into young champions. Okay. Just a minute. Baron, what do you want? I'm still pissed about that whole thing. Wakey, wakey, Jake the Snakey. <sighs> It is too early for that to be funny. Sorry, I couldn't wait to tell you the good news. Triple H called and wants to offer me a contract again? No. Better. What could be better than that? Well, after news of your NXT contract being pulled hit the internet, your fan fight video went viral. It's over 2 million views now. Sorry, make that 2.2 million. So a whole lot of people have watched me throw my career away. Why is that a good thing? Because controversy creates cash. My phone's been blowing up. Everyone wants to book you now. You're the hottest thing on the indie scene. And based upon the principle of supply, there's only one of you. And demand, like I said, is high. Your rate is skyrocketing. Okay, okay, this could be good. It could be very good. We could turn chicken crap into chicken salad, if you know what I'm saying. God damn it. I don't think I get it. You're going to switch Triple H and WWE by making your own success in the indies. You'll be way bigger than you ever would have been in NXT or WWE, and we'll do it together. So what do you say? Are you in? I mean, what other choice do I have? I'm in. I'm in. All right. Now, go brush your teeth, your breath is terrible it's too early for this <laughs> this man baron's like br go brush your teeth your breath is like terrible el terrible know what i mean that's what he said anyway wow the first two chapters in this game are like the shortest chapters like ever Buzz inherited his van from his dad after he passed away. He supported Buzz's pursuit of his dreams to become a wrestler. Buzz, Buzz keeps the exterminator van around to keep remind himself where he came from. Uh, El Mago is one of the top rising stars in Mexico. He's an unbelievable wrestler with immense talent. He would love to compete in WWE someday, but he feels he has more to accomplish. Okay. Okay. Well, here's me and my crabby ass bug van. Uh, somebody want to explain to me what's going on here? Give me a minute. Welcome to the new reality of BCW. Because of all your online hype, we sold out our usual allotment of tickets a few days ago, but since I'm an entrepreneurial genius, <coughs> I pulled some strings with the school principal, allowing us to move the show outside, <coughs> therefore doubling our capacity. <laughs> all right. 
All right, good work. <coughs> that's no. Uh. See those fancy video cameras and that nice gentleman I was just speaking with? Uh, yeah. For the first time ever, BCW will be live streaming our event around the world on pay-per-view. So anyone who's not lucky enough to see Buzz in person can still watch him do his thing from the comfort of their homes for a small but fair fee. Isn't it great? Uh, yeah, it's great. Question, who is Buzz? Oh, <laughs> that's your new nickname. You know, because of all the social media buzz you're generating. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Buzz. <laughs> it's all turning into chicken salad, my friend. Uh, yeah, speaking of making things not crappy, have you seen Cole? I feel like I should talk to him before our match tonight. Well, eh, he's around here somewhere. And, oh, by the way, your match with him tonight is now Falls Count Anywhere. Thought you two could have some fun with all the extra space out here. <laughs> fun, yeah. You really have an odd definition of the word fun. <laughs> Baron, yeah, your your definition is fun, of fun is really not the same as other people's. Let's just say. All right. Let's get that. What's this? Rope break level three. What's this? Springboard diver. I want to get that. I, I want to go ahead and get that, actually. There's springboard diver. Right, what's that? Hammer throw. That's a good one to get. This one is notably Daredevil. I forget what that one is actually. I always forget what I always forget which one notably Daredevil is. Um, perform diving attacks from the top of chamber pods, steel cage, semi trailer, or hell in a cell. Oh, okay. So that, that that's cool then. Uh, let me see here. What else? I forget exactly what overcharge points do. Hey, Mr. Cole there Quinn. Is. The man who drowned in his own rising tide. Come back to apologize to me for stealing my shot at WWE and immediately throwing it away? <laughs> Look, I am not apologizing for anything, okay? All I want to say is that we don't need to have each other's backs, but with what Baron is planning to do, the least we could do is have each other's respect, all right? So, are we good? <laughs> oh, yeah. We're so good. I thought I'd introduce you to my new character I'm trying out tonight. You remember how Matt Bloom didn't like Mr. CQ and decided to give you a tryout instead of me? Sure. Smart decision. I'm calling myself Black Hole Cole because I have an energy so intense, nothing can escape it. Oh my god. 
Oh, you don't like it? Why? I'm not a fan of masks these days. <laughs> you know, I find it really interesting that I was attacked by somebody wearing a mask, and next time I see you, you have a mask. Not to mention, you also had all the motivation in the world to do it. Hmm. You're right. It was me. So what are you going to do about it? Uh, you better tell me the truth right now. It wasn't me. I, I, I had a match that night 300 miles away. I got the gas receipts to prove it. But I could have hired somebody to do it. What? There was a joke. Man, relax. <laughs> Real funny. Real funny. We'll see who's laughing after. You really, you really got me there, Cole. I'm starting to think it was Cole. Cole Quinn did it. There's no way he couldn't have done it. Cole Quinn actually fucking did it. Swear to God, Cole. Swear to God, man. You did it. You did it for the rock. You did it for the people. No, I'm, I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. And here comes your boy, the Messiah, Chris Alexander. May want to skip my entrance and Cole Quinn's because his is very seen Cole Quinn's Wyatt family entrance. I have to get Cole Quinn to yellow health and hit him with a strike while at the entrance ramp. Okay, I see. Oh shit! <laughs> kind of forgot he. I kind of forgot I put that on him. Oh, for, forgot I didn't equip springboard. Just a yet. reminder: this match is falls count anywhere in the general parking lot area, as we didn't pay to have the street closed. BCW is getting bigger, but we're not traffic control. Ow. Yet. For those of you who are late to the party, welcome to BCW's very first streaming pay-per-view, where Buzz, that's his name now, if you've been living under a rock, and Black Hole Cole, okay, are facing each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. We have a oh, sold-out, oh, oh, record-setting oh. crowd here for BCW tonight. This is by far the hottest ticket in town. Take that, bingo night at St. Mary's Church. Oh, he's got Cole Quinn down on the floor. And oh, he's oh, just stomping on Quinn's back. Black Hole Cole still feels like, like oh, Buzz stole his oh. WWE opportunity. And now he's out for revenge. He should also get revenge on whoever told him that new name was a good idea. He's twisting Cole Quinn's fingers and... Good God. Hey, Triple H, I know you're watching. Impressed with what you see so far? Well, sorry, you had a shot at signing these two, and you and blew ooh. it. They're BCW a big, for life now. And a big boot to Cole Quinn's face. And a... And a Brain buster on the outside. We apologize if anyone's having difficulty with your pay-per-view stream. To be honest, we underestimated the demand to see Buzz in action. We'd offer refunds, but hey, this event's streaming from a high school parking lot. So what'd you expect? Oh. Cole Quinn and Chris Alexander fighting. 
fighting on the outside of the ring. And, oh my god. My god. Cole Quinn just threw Chris Alexander into his own van. Chris Alexander. The oh god. This takes me back to the marathon beatdown between Owen Schwartz and Mason Cunin for the title. In a spear. Welcome to BCW's very first streaming pay per view. Oh, and Cole, Cole Quinn and Chris Alexander fighting on the outside still. That's what BCW was all about. And oh, a fan grabbed him a chair. Oh! And that fan just. That, that fan gave him a chair to use against Cole Quinn. Difficulty with your pay -per -view stream. To be honest, we underestimated the demand to see both. And another Oh wait, Cole Quinn counter. Streaming from a high school parking lot. So what you and a roundhouse kick by Cole. Another roundhouse kick by Quinn. This takes me back to the marathon. Cole Quinn, what is this? A suplex into a face buster. Cole Quinn wants to destroy Chris Alexander. He throws him into the post and bounces him face first off of it. This is by far the hottest ticket in town. Take that, bingo night at St. Mary's Church. And Coco and another Silplex face buster. Hey, and Cole H, Quinn. The Ushi Kuroshi on the outside. Well, sorry, you had a shot at signing these two and you blew it. They're BC. And Cole Quinn tripping them and taking them down. Black Hole Cole still feels like Buzz stole his WWE opportunity, and now he's out for revenge. He should also get revenge on whoever told him that new name. Oh, was a good God. Idea. Bouncing him off the barricade. Throwing him face first off the ring post. Just a reminder, this Cole Quinn. Is Wait a minute. Cole Quinn with a submission on the outside. The Cole Quinn with a sub. Area. Submission on the outside. This is false count anyway. And Cole. Chris Alexander gets out of it in a big roundhouse kick to the head. For those of you who are late to the party, welcome to BCW's oh. very first streaming oh. pay-per-view. Oh, and the sh combo strikes. And he missed the roundhouse that time. And Cole Quinn bouncing his head off the ring mat. Ring apron. I mean. Black Hole Cole still feels like Buzz stole his WWE opportunity. And now he's out for revenge. He should also get revenge and on whoever... And the air right trash on the outside. And he's got Cole Quinn up, and the uh, on the sit out butterfly BCW face buster. This is by far the hottest ticket in town. Take that bingo night at St. Mary's Church. One, two, and Cole Quinn with a kick out. Just a reminder: this match is falls count anywhere. And another brain buster. Okay? 
Oh. Oh, and the super kick. We apologize if anyone's having difficulty with your pay per view stream. To be honest, we underestimated the demand to see Buzz in action. And the Owen, the tornado in the Gary. Streaming from a high school parking lot. So, what'd you expect? Triple H, I know you're watching. Impressed with what you see so far? Well, sorry, you had a shot at signing these two, and you blew it. They're BCW for life now. And Cole Quinn, wait a minute. And, oh! Cole this Quinn. This takes me back to the marathon beatdown between Owen Schwartz and Mason Cunin for the title. Cole Quinn coming back here. And Cole Quinn. And the. I want to kick. Hey, Triple H. I know you're watching. Impressed with what you're doing so far. Wait a minute. Well, sorry, Cole Quinn went for the Ushigaroshi and got countered. Blew it. They're PCW for Backdrop life suplex. A running drop kick in the corner. Just He's got Quinn again. Another one. In the general parking lot area, as we didn't pay to have the street club. BCW is getting bigger. One run. And the stomp. Okay. He wants Quinn up to his feet again. I win it. And a stomp on the chair. Turn stomp on the chair. Two, three. But hey, this event streaming from a high school parking lot. So what'd you expect? And there's the first curb stomp. And then there's the second one on the chair that we didn't get to see. But anyway. was amazing the live crowd loved it you managed to avoid wrecking the principal's car and the pay-per-view buys were off the charts you two will be getting nice bonus checks in the mail for that <laughs> oh uh i'll hand deliver yours since the last time i checked you can't send mail to vans <laughs> that was quite the battle it was uh, sorry about your windshield it's okay Baron said he'd pay for it. <laughs> hey, you're a lot tougher than I thought you were. You proved that tonight. And I didn't really get it before, but now I'm starting to understand why they're calling you Buzz. It's pretty much just Baron calling me that. It's gonna catch on. You'll see. Well, my bad for getting fired up about the mask earlier. We good? We're good. That's great, guys, but don't get too friendly because you'll be facing each other again soon in an even bigger rematch. I just need time to build something. Baron, since when have you built anything ever? Well, I'm not actually building it myself, but I am designing it. In the meantime, I have some great opportunities for both of you to build off the success of tonight's show. Cole, an up-and-coming promotion in Japan wants you to go wrestle for them. Oh, even Japan can't escape the energy of black hole coal. <laughs> right. Actually, they explicitly said to not do that character. They just want Cole Quinn. And Buzz, we are headed south of the border for a match versus Mexico's hottest luchador, El Mago. Es increíble. What? I took a few years of Spanish in high school. What? 
guess that'll be useful on our trip. <laughs> hey, big things are happening for us in BCW. It's this man actually knew, knows Spanish. I'm done. Bring it in for a big celebratory BCW handshake. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> the good old BCW handshake. That is really how you do it. Anyway. Inspect windshield. Is that a chunk of my skin? Gross. Ooh, is it? I mean, I, I don't see it, but still. I want to repair it. I want it repaired, so. We're going to do that. All right, boys, we're going to go to Mexico. And Russell El Mago. Wakey, wakey, earthquakey. We're having an earthquake? No, no, no. <laughs> Just playing the wrestler wake up game, man. Relax. You might want to choose a less terrifying wrestler name next time. Yeah, noted. We made it. Already? It really didn't seem like we were driving two days. Gee, I wonder why. It's because you've been asleep the entire two days. Hey, I need my genius promoter rest. Uh huh. Oh my god. <laughs> Genius promoter rest, yeah, okay. Spanish. Necesita un shower? I don't know, I don't remember the word for shower. <laughs> You're a lot of help. Did you see that? What? That mask guy who attacked me, he's here, I just saw him. I think you're seeing things from being awake for so long. I'm telling you that was him. How about you get some rest before your big match tonight? We need to keep all our momentum going. Can't have any setbacks due to hallucinations. You know. That wasn't a hallucination. All right. Wait, stop, pull over! What, what is it? Did you see him? No, I want to try some authentic Mexican street corn. You're the worst. <laughs> this man barely played. <laughs> Bruh, this man's like, wait, stop, pull over. Because, like, he wants to, to try some Mexican street corn. Oh, my God. Alright, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in Mexico for a match against El Mago.
Alright guys, here comes El Mago. Oh my god, I forgot I did this to him. I gave him the cologne's entrance, I forgot. <laughs> what the hell, I even gave him the, the, the cologne's theme song. God damn it. Here's El Mago. Yeah, I kept that. Oh. And it speared El Mago. A body splash, but but no, no Margo the Dragon Sleeper. And Chris Alexander gets out of it and a kick to the back of El Margo. No Margo with a rolling wheel kick. Now Margo, wait a minute, on the backflip into a spinning heel kick. Margo going for the cover. One, and a kick out. And, oh, Chris Alexander coming back against El Margo here. And punch him in the back. Oh, and a knee, and a, oh! Super kick to El Mago. A mí no me parece que vos tiene miedo. Oh. And a spear to El Mago again. No, I'm not go. Counter is a wait a minute. I don't want a single underhook face buster. Went for a knee, bicycle knee. And oh, and Chris Alexander gets thrown into the turnbuckle and. El Mago with a knee. Chris Alexander getting to his feet. And El Mago the crossbody bringing both men down to the outside of the ring. Went for a code break. El Mago went for an elbow. And a spear and El Mago got him with a knee. And El Mago's got him up. A fireman's carry into a roundhouse kick. Chris Alexander got right up from it though. And he's coming back in a super kick to El Mago. Went for the airy crash neck breaker. And El Mago, wait a minute. The SOS by El Mago. I kind of forgot I put that on him, but El Mago got a kick out, going for another pinfall, and another kick out. And Chris Alexander, oh, for me, and El Mago's got him up, El Mago with, I want to bouncing him off the top rope. And the oh, 
What an arm breaker there by Almago. Now Almago, oh, he's using the ropes. Help him, help him with the pinfall. Wait a minute. And the air and crash neck breaker from out of nowhere. By Chris Alexander. And it went for an elbow to El Mago, but he missed it. No, Mago, wait for a minute. Oh, and a moonsault by, by the Mexican luchador El Mago. Oh, and El Mago with the S.O. Mago. And the O oh, and it strikes to the face of El Mago. When it, and that stomps to the chest of El Mago. Oh, he's going for that tornado and Zagari that he wants. And the. Uh, oh, and he got him. Los dos luchadores al punto de convertirse en superestrellas. ¿Quién será? ¿Quién va a ser? And Alexander wants El Mago to his feet in a bicycle knee strike. And he's got El Mago where he wants him to stop. Esta lucha. And now he's getting El Mago up, throwing him into the turnbuckle and a corner clothesline. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? Wait a minute. Es el it's the master. It's the master attacker. The man that cost him a shot at WWE. The masked attacker. Now do you believe me? I guess so. Look, I don't know why you're doing this, but I am not gonna let you try to ruin my career ever again. Lo siento, soy un fan y solo quería atención. Perdóname, por favor. What's he saying? Did he admit to everything? <sighs> no, he's a fan. He's just craving attention. He's a copycat. He's not the same guy. Let him go. Gracias, señor. Oye, ¿puedo tener un autógrafo? Uh, you know what? Yeah, give him an autograph. You have a marker. Your messiah will You're give you an autograph. Don't do that again, Buzz. There you go, bud. Gracias. Oh. Hey, hey, no problem, my guy. Well, your big Mexico debut didn't go quite as planned, but the match was great up until the end. And any publicity is good publicity, right? You've still got the buzz going. <laughs> I guess. I'm take a shower. You mean Ducha? I looked it up. This man, Baron Blade. This man actually looked up what shower is in Spanish. That. That's tough. A few weeks later. Bet. 
What the hell is this? So this Giant. is what you had to build for our big rematch, right? What is it, a tetanus tornado match? Yep, it's a beauty, don't you think? I'd say it's more beast than beauty. Well, its official name is the Scrap Trap. Not only are we going to have our biggest streaming audience yet, we're doing it in one of WWE's most iconic venues. It's like we're invading their territory. Man, I wish I could see the look on Triple H's face when he sees this. Where did this even come from? Where did you dig this up? All over. I salvaged it from other wrestling promotions, a junkyard scrap. That section is from WCW's Triple Cage. That is from an ECW cage, and I believe that side used to be an old prison fence. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? I think a better name would be Death Trap. This violates <laughs> every health code known to mankind. <laughs> yeah, it does. This man, Baron Blade, really wants us to get tetanus. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and let's talk to Cole. Because why not? I saw what happened in Mexico. Too bad some idiot had to go and ruin a great match. Yeah, I know. It's, it's all good. Any publicity is good publicity, <laughs> right? Yes, Baron. So how was Japan? Japan? Was great. I was free to be myself, and the fans really respected that. So I'm gonna try that from now on here in the U.S. No more black hole coal. Too bad, I kind of really? liked it. No, it was terrible. I think you'd have a long future ahead of, of yourself as yeah. Cole Quinn. Assuming I survived the scrap trap tonight. I know, good luck to both of us on that. <laughs> Is this scrap trap cage no! safe? But that's the appeal of it. And you know what I always say? Convert... Controversy creates I do cash. I always say that, but that's not the catchphrase I was referring to. Oh, this ain't yes, ballet. That's the one. It's just that things are really going well for us. I mean, look where we are. In just a couple of months, we've gone from a high school gym to a, to a famous WWE venue. I wouldn't want all that to get derailed by an injury. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Have you had a tetanus shot recently? Uh, no. No, I have not. Here comes Chris Alexander.
Apparently, we're having some issues with our pay-per-view stream. It might even be down completely. If anyone can still hear this, we apologize. Uh, and we're trying to find out what's going Chris on. Chris Alexander versus Cole Quinn. On a kick. And Cole Quinn takes him down. And the, oh, and a reversal. We call this the scrap trap because it was scrapped together from junkyard oh, wait a minute. old steel cages oh, from God. wrestling promotions and because it rhymes. And not another big kick to the face. These two are now international stars. Oh, Having recently God, wrestled just... in Japan and Taking Cole Quinn BCW over and over again in the face. The oh no, not another one. Go! Oh no, no. And another kick to the face of Cole Quinn. Home of Monday Night Raw shows that BCW is making huge strides. And we couldn't have done it without your support. Seriously. Oh, and Cole Quinn ran at him and got hit with a... About 50 high school gyms. Got hit with a bicycle knee. They shut it down? Damn it. Triple H. It had to be. These two guys are out here killing each other. And thanks to him, no one's seeing it. No, I don't want to stop the match. There's still the live crowd here. And maybe we can release the video later. Damn it. I want to thank everyone again for joining us tonight for our second ever streaming pay-per-view live from WWE's the Roundhouse old kick. stooping grounds. And a super kick. An elbow and a kick and another kick. In honor of tonight's scrap trap match, all fans in the first three rows were given free tennis shots. And an elbow from the cage. After the pay per view, be sure to check out our brain buster where you can purchase all kinds of BCW swag, including my new favorite item, a BCW lunchbox. Which is an homage to when our locker room was in an actual school cafeteria. Paul Quinn and Chris Alexander going after you even. Oh! What an A-Ray crash neckbreaker, and Cole Quinn immediately gets up from it. Cole Quinn with a super kick. And Cole Quinn with the double knees. Oh, and another double knees. This man barren on commentary, bro. Wait a minute. And a grand slam. Right, it, right into the ropes. And Cole Quinn jump, jumped over, and Cole Quinn with a single leg drop kick. I want to thank everyone again for joining us tonight for our second ever streaming pay per view live from WWE's old stomping ground. Cole Quinn with a comeback there. Oh, that's a kick. And Cole Quinn. Wait a minute. And the uh, ends up Jerry out of the corner. Oh, and Chris Alexander was getting up from it. And Cole Quinn. 
and come Quinn. And a kick out at one. And Cole Quinn. Oh, and the, the double knees back and forth. Wait a minute. And oh, okay, he's got Quinn in, a, in the stomp. Cole Quinn felt the stomp on the chair last ECW show. The last time these two had a match against each other, Cole Quinn felt that exact stomp on a steel chair. In the Falls Count Anywhere match, by the way, but it did end in the in the ring. So, was that? Oh, and that super kick. The fact that we're broadcasting from the former home of Monday Night Raw shows that BCW is making Cole Quinn. Oh, and he got an end to Gary. He wants Cole Quinn to his feet. Wait a minute, he's got Cole Quinn. The sit out butterfly face buster. And there's the win from Chris Alexander. There's an air raid crash neck breaker. And, oh, and the air raid bomb from Cole Quinn. And the stomp that Cole Quinn fell in the Falls Count Anywhere match. And there's the, oh, sit out butterfly face buster. The Messiah has put down Cole Quinn once again. That truly topped anything you've ever done before. But I'm afraid I got some bad news. What? Yeah, what happened? Our pay-per-view stream went down in the middle of your match. No one watching online got to see how it ended. Well, did the site crash or something? What happened? No, we were taken down intentionally by Triple H. Triple H? How could he even do that? He and WWE's lawyers are claiming they have exclusive rights to broadcast from this venue. Damn it! And now we're getting flooded with refund requests. Don't think you're getting any bonus checks for this show, guys. I'm sorry. Does either of you know if you can return slightly used jet skis? I might have jumped the gun on purchasing a couple. We'll circle back to that later. First, Triple H unfairly pulls my contract from defending myself from an attack, and now he's trying to sabotage our business? We have to strike back. They have a team of lawyers and an endless supply of cash. You guys just competed in a cage made from an old prison fence. What could we possibly do to them? Well, you said it earlier. Tonight was like we're invading their territory, right? So, what if we actually did that? What do you mean? I mean... We hit Triple H exactly where it hurts the most by selling him used jet skis. Invading NXT. Invading NXT. Totally on the same page as you, Buzz. I don't know about this, guys. It seems risky. Why? We've both been rejected by WWE, so what do we have to lose, right? And this is what you wanted, Baron. You wanted this. You said it yourself. Our plan was to stick it to Triple H. So what do you say? I think we're gonna need a really big stick. That's what I'm talking about! Oh shit, we're about to invade NXT, alright. Let's do this. That next stream, of course, we're not doing it this one. A few days later. Bet.
Hey, Cole. You got the tickets? Front row, just like you wanted. This is your electric bill. Oh, sorry. Wrong pocket. Huh. Thank you. This you man. Say, Buzz, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. You guys remember when Triple H and DX invaded WCW? People still talk about that to this very day. This is going to be very good for us and BCW. Just be ready for anything. I'll be pulling for you. All right, Baron. Oh, and we got chapter three's done. So I think we got some styles style points to go ahead and use. Cole Quinn is three favorite WWE superstars. They are Ultimate Warrior, Shawn Michaels, and Kevin Nash. Alright, well guys. Uh, let's upgrade my My Player. Uh, anything good here? Well, there's... Escape artist, slam your opponent through the cell wall. Oh, okay. That could be an interesting one. Anyway, we got what do we got next? We got ladder finisher. Then we got over here. We got through the table, and then we got ladder daredevil. Okay. Well. Anyways, guys, this is gonna be the end of the stream. Hope you guys liked it. By the way, um, I'm enjoying this series. By the way, this is a pretty good series in my opinion just just saying I'm literally one away from leveling up again <laughs> okay then well anyways guys um I'll see you guys later wait I need to do something real quick can I prestige yet wait that's attributes can I prestige yet no I cannot okay well anyways um I'll see you guys later